At the start of the movie, we are shown a dying woman struggling to send a text for help with her phone. We are then shown New York writer and podcaster Ben with a friend at a party. As a talk, we get to know Ben is interested in being in a committed romantic relationship. We then see Ben in the next scene with his podcast producer Eloise, where he expresses his passion for America. He talks about his great love for the country. He was then advised by Eloise to write a book documenting how he feels about America. At home, he was visited by one of the many ladies he's sleeping with. He then unexpectedly received a phone call from the brother of Abby, one of the ladies from his numerous hookup. Ty, the brother of Abby, with the assumption that Ben is his sister's boyfriend, informs him of her passing. She was said to have died of a drug overdose. On Ty's request, Ben flies to Texas to attend the funeral. At the funeral, he was called out to give a tribute for his supposed girlfriend and he delivered a heartfelt speech which left everyone impressed. After the funeral, he drove in the car with Ty and Ty told him Abby's death was premeditated and she was murdered, adamantly maintaining she never takes drugs. He asked her to call the police but Ty stated there was no need to inform the police as they would have to avenge her death. As a drive, Ben steps out to call Eloise. Seeing an opportunity, they then decided to make a show about Abby's death. They agreed to interrogate the locals and gather facts about her death, stating it to be a wonderful crime story. Ben then agreed to aid Ty so he can get more facts for his story, and Ty gave him to the family home where Ben was introduced to Abby's sisters, mother, grandma and younger brother. As Abby's family sits for dinner, Ben requested they let him record their conversation and they agreed. As he spent time with the family, he learns that there is a place called Whataburger everyone loves. He then travels with Ty to the oil pumps to meet Ty's friend Crow, who explained that parties often occur at the oil fields. That there is a spot just outside where the parties are normally here that is called the after party, where dead bodies have been reported over time, and that there is a particular drug dealer named Sankula who Ty suspects may have killed Abby. In another scene, Ben paid a visit to the studio of Quentin, an eccentric record producer, who, like Ben, is an outsider and is college educated, but has adopted Texas as his home. Quentin then gives Ben a memory stick that has video and audio of Abby performing. At home, Ben watches videos of Abby singing and gets to know her more. He also learns more about her family. As he spends time with the family, Ben forms the friendship with Mason, Abby's younger brother, who loves sleeping on the floor of Ben's room. We are then shown Ben confronting Sankolo outside of a bar to discuss Abby's death. And Sankolo reveals it was in Tulsa on the night of Abby's death, and with Ray Styles believe that Abby was not a drug abuser. Ben later joins Abby's family at a sports event, where he infuriates the townspeople as he expresses support for the Texas Longhorns. When the crowd is overwhelmingly in favor of the Texas Tech Red Raiders. To gather more information, Ben speaks to law enforcement agencies in the area and learns that they each tend to shift responsibility of death from the parties to another agency because it's in the spot where the jurisdiction overlap all the time recording their conversation. He called Eloise who informs him that his show will be previewed on NPR. As he moves close to his car, it blows up and at the hospital, the family of Abby comes to see him and takes him to Water Burger for the first time. As he eats with the family, Eloise calls Ben and informs him that the story is finished and asks that he comes back home to New York much to Ben's dismay. Eloise explains that it won't be right to risk the person's life for his story. When back inside, Abby's grandma accidentally reveals that Abby was in fact a drug abuser and it was then revealed that Ty had lied to Ben so he could get closer to his sister's boyfriend. Ben then leaves the restaurant angrily. The family met him outside and he mocks Texas. He then reveals to them that Abby is simply one of the girls he sleeps with and not his girlfriend, causing an infuriated Ty to punch him in the stomach and they leave separately. Ben arrives at Abby's family home and while in his room with Mason, Mason mentions how Abby will speak in code with him and he explains the code to Ben. Ben then uses the code to unlock Abby's phone. In the phone, he says she's been shattered with a man she labored as Ben, making her family believe she has something going on with Ben. At last test with the man in the case that she was abandoned by him. Armed with one of Ty's pistols, Ben rides with Mason to a party at the oil pond. After learning that his car was blown up by the team he didn't support at the sport event, Ben meets with Ty at a party and he was then met by Quentin who took him to his tent. At Quentin's tent, Ben notices numerous packaged drugs that match the description given by one of the law enforcement officers. He then sees an unconscious woman being dragged out of the tent. Since the people of the town are aware Ben is always recording their conversations for his show, Ben turns off his recorder assuring Quentin their conversation is private. Analyzing the situation, Ben deduced that Abby overdosed on drugs and instead of helping her, Quentin dragged her outside to let her die. 
Revealing is the man she labelled as Ben on her phone. Quentin affirms Ben's prediction and without remorse stated he let Abby die. After the confession, Ben pulls out his phone which secretly recorded the entire conversation. And Quentin of Legion mocks him stating now there is more story that will be told. He explains that people will subsequently chip their attention from him to Ben and Abby's family and will be let free. Ben then puts up his phone recorder, pulls out Ty's gun and kills Quentin on the spot. He went up to the party to meet Ty and together with Mason, they went to Waterburger to have a bite. Ben who now has his mission completed packs his bags to leave. But before he leaves, he assured Abby's mom the story will not be broadcasted. Subscribe to